nation's top 18 corn growers currently list a fifth of their corn as mature, six points off the average. That trend holds in Nebraska, where 12 percent is mature, four points behind normal. Nebraska Extension plant pathologist Tamara Jackson Zim says stock rot is now appearing in some fields and could cause problems during harvest. Well, we're starting to see a few stalk rot issues, and so if people see a few plants starting to turn colors early before the rest of the field, it would be worth a trip out to check and see if they're having some stalk rot or crown rot issues, and especially the crown rot because that's where we're seeing the decay down in the root ball below ground. We'll check for stalk rots by using a push or a pinch test to check for uh, the strength of the stalk, and that'll give you an idea if they're prone to lodging. Any plant stress is going to lead to stalk rot and so this year where we've had a lot of leaf diseases or where we've had a lot of ponding in fields and especially the taller hybrids that people have complained about this year with higher ears all of these are going to be more likely to have stalk rots and so uh, we recommend checking that. If you find you have quite a few stalks that are uh, thin or prone to lodging, I, I would consider harvesting those fields first or even a little earlier than normal to try to get them out before we have any lodging events. In addition to stalk rot diseases, we're also beginning to see a few ear rot diseases too. And uh, not a whole lot just yet. We're not sure to what extent. This is primarily Diplodia ear rot that likes the wet conditions. So if you see the ear husk beginning to discolor early, be sure and get in there and husk those back. Take a look at the kernels and look for fungal growth. And remember, if you do have a lot of it and you harvest that and put it in the bin, it will continue to grow. And so we recommend letting it dry down to less than 15% if possible and cooling it off as quickly as possible to slow down that growth. Tamara says there's not a whole lot that can be done to prevent stock rot in the future. She says hybrid selection can help in some cases, but overall the important point is to reduce plant stress.